Watch this crap. So, I got the scope hooked up on open circuit. This output coil over here. It's one coil with two hundred turns. Okay? This one's open currently. Now, this one's supposed to be a lens coil where I'm going to short it to see if it increases output on that one by fulfilling lens and crushing the reactors. Okay? That's what the theory is. So here's the single polarity output on the first coil with the lens coil open. Now, watch the scope as I short the lens coil. Boom. Look at that opposite polarity wave coming in. That's from shorting the lens coil. I shorted this one. I expected it to be I expected it to be instantaneous opposition to this coil to see this output rise higher. But instead I see the minus wave, the negative wave coming through when we short the lens coil. So let's unshort the lens coil. And as you see, that minus wave went away. That minus wave is exactly 180 degrees shifted from that positive wave. Okay? Of that one. Now, I think this lens coil has to be much closer, maybe at 90 or so. So it's a zero. So right when it gets to zero, it's opposing. But that was fascinating. So the output does raise, look, 1.95 volts of VRMS with the lens coil and without it, remember, 1.95, without it, 1.72. So that extra pop it gets from the coupled magnetic fields assists the total output. So taking this output into a load actually increases the load on that one and vice versa because they're 180 degrees out of phase which is interesting chain of events follow the forum